Franklin whole home battery system, Enphase IQ battery system. Which is the best whole home battery backup for your home? We're going to be answering that question and much, much more in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past nine years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean renewable energy. Now if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge we talk about all things having to do with residential solar power systems, uh, battery backup systems, and sometimes even generator backup systems as well. Uh, you'll find product reviews and comparisons, kind of like today's video here. Now in today's video, we're looking at a head-to-head -head comparison of the leading Franklin whole home battery and the Enphase Ensemble, or now called the Enphase IQ battery system. And we're going to be answering the question, which one is the best system for a true whole house battery backup? Now guys, if you've been following this space this year, you know that there's been a lot of activity in the home battery space. In fact, it seems that all the major manufacturers want to get into the battery conversation and they want to get uh, either coming to market with their own battery product or marketing their platform as a battery ready platform. But it seems that everybody in residential solar does not want to be left behind with this trend towards a home-based battery storage or home-based energy storage systems. Now, if you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know that we try to cover all the new battery product announcements here, or at least all the ones that we think have legs and we think are really worth your time taking a look at uh, if you're looking at battery options for your home. And that's why I'm very excited to be doing a head-to-head -head comparison. And by the way, this is something that you, the viewers, have asked for through the comments, but a head-to-head -head comparison of what I think are the top two home battery systems for this year, for 2022, which is the Franklin Whole Home and the Enphase Ensemble or Enphase IQ battery system. Now, we're gonna be doing this evaluation in five sections, and there's a maximum of five points per section for a maximum total score of 25 points. Now, those categories are power, including both continuous running power and peak surge power. We're gonna be looking at the battery capacity uh, of course, the warranty of both products, the cost of the batteries and the cost to have them installed. And then finally, what I like to call the X factor. Uh, and what the X factor is, is the way that we can award additional points for unique features of each product where there may not be a, a direct one for one comparison, but to where those features could have a lot of impact uh, in terms of you as a potential system owner and the functionality that you're going to get out of the system. All right, before we get into the head-to-head, -head, I'd like to take a moment and talk about what these products have in common. Because these, as like I said, these are my two favorite batteries for this year, and they do have a lot of things in common. So let's start with this first. Number one, these are both AC-coupled battery systems. Now, when we talk about an AC-coupled battery system, what we mean is the interface between the solar PV system, the solar electric system, and the battery storage system happens on the AC side of the system or, or at the AC circuit breaker panel. Or more accurately, in the case of these two battery systems, they each have their own version of a, of a system controller or a power gateway. And it's at that point that solar power is delivered, battery power is delivered, grid power is delivered, and optionally gener generator power may be delivered as well. All four AC power sources and then the, the system controller or the gateway is what does the switching between those various sources. What that means is that if you have an existing solar power system, really nothing needs to change on the roof. If you have, let's say you have solar panels with microinverters on the roof, you already have AC power coming off the roof, you can tie in there. Or let, maybe you have a solar edge DC optimizer based system on your roof, you have a solar edge inverter or maybe a SMA inverter at ground level, you can take the AC power coming off of that, interface it with the battery storage system. So nothing really should have to change on the roof with an AC coupled system. Now, both of these systems also use the newer, safer, more durable lithium iron phosphate chemistry. 
So unlike some of the other batteries like Tesla and Generac that are still using the older lithium ion, you know, specifically the lithium NMC, nickel manganese cobalt chemistry. Now that chemistry, as some of you know, that chemistry does have the potential, it's not very common, but that chemistry does have the potential to overheat and then to catch on fire. And so with the new lithium iron phosphate chemistry, that risk of thermal runaway or the risk of the battery catching on fire is taken off the table. The battery runs cool, the iron phosphate chemistry is cool. Uh, and I should also say that the iron phosphate chemistry is more resilient to supply chain disruptions because it's not as dependent on some of the rare earth metals that have to be imported from overseas countries. So both batteries use the new uh, LFP chemistry. Both batteries are stackable. Now, when we talk about a stackable battery, particularly when we're talking about a stackable AC coupled battery, what we mean is that multiple battery units can be connected together in parallel. And when you connect multiple units, not only are you increasing the battery storage capacity, but you're also increasing the power rating as well. So with an AC coupled system, when you stack multiple batteries, you boost both the capacity and the power whenever you add additional units. And then finally, both of these battery systems include some form of load control. One of the things that's critical for a successful whole house backup implementation is having load control. Uh, in other words, making sure that everything in the house doesn't try to power on at the same time, where it could potentially overload and shut down the battery, load control, or, or more specifically automated load control, means that the battery backup system itself has some ability to control some of the heavier loads in the house to make sure that energy is going to the things that you deem as high priority and make sure that your batteries don't overload or don't get drained out faster than you want them to. All right, now before we get into the head-to-head, -head, I need to clarify that the battery configuration that we're gonna be comparing today is a whole house battery backup configuration. Now, if you're using the Franklin battery, that means you're gonna be using two of the Franklin batteries along with their A-gate, which is their transfer switch. If you're using the N-phase system, that means you're gonna be using three of the N-phase 10 batteries for a whole house backup. So it's not gonna be necessarily a one-to-one -one single battery comparison. What we're comparing in this video is Franklin versus N-phase for whole house backup configuration. And with that, let's get into the comparison. All right, coming up first is the Franklin whole home battery backup system. Now again, we're looking at the whole house battery backup configuration, which means two of the A-Power batteries, as well as the Franklin A-Gate, which is gonna serve as your sort of master transfer switch. Now in terms of power rating, the Franklin solution offers continuous power of 10,000 watts with surge power up to 20,000 watts for up to 10 seconds. Now, that's a lot of power. And in fact, Franklin's claim to fame is the fact that even with just a single battery, you can back up a four ton air conditioning unit without even having to install a soft start on the air conditioning unit. And that's part of Franklin's proprietary advantage is the ability to be able to sustain such a high surge power and, and for such a long time as well. 10 seconds of surge power is about triple what you really realistically need to get a compressor motor up to speed but that's what the battery provides. Now in terms of storage capacity, each Franklin battery provides 13.6 kilowatt hours of storage. So for the two battery whole house configuration, you're looking at a total of 27.2 kilowatt hours of storage. Now in terms of the warranty, the Franklin battery comes with a market leading 12 year warranty. Uh, as of this recording, most of the other home batteries cap out at a 10-year warranty. However, Enphase does now offer the option to extend the battery warranty for an extra five years, although Franklin offers the 12-year warranty standard. Uh, in terms of cost, Franklin is going to be one of the lowest cost, if not the lowest cost, whole home battery backup solution available. Uh, although technically the Generac power cell system does allow you to, to install a whole house backup just using a single Generac uh, power cell cabinet, um, realistically it's not going to be enough battery backup power to comfortably run heavy loads like central air conditioning overnight. So if you're looking at other battery backups with this type of power and storage capacity, the Franklin solution is going to be the lowest price on the market.
And then in terms of X factor, I'm gonna give the Franklin battery plus four additional points for some of these features. The first is the Franklin battery is interoperable with virtually any other inverter system on the market. This is especially important if you already have an existing solar power system, uh, unless you're already using Enphase, or maybe you're using Enphase, but you're using a previous generation Enphase microinverter, you may not be able to plug into the current state-of-the-art Enphase battery. So having an interoperable battery backup or an inverter agnostic battery backup is gonna give more options for you. So right now, Franklin can be used with Enphase, Solar Edge, SMA, Fronius, you know, whatever inverter system you might have, you can interface with the Franklin whole home battery. And then of course, if, if you're talking about a new installation, you can pair the Franklin with any of your leading inverter choices. In fact, our most common configuration here at Solar Surge is Enphase microinverters on the roof, paired with the Franklin whole home, uh, the battery and the Franklin gateway at ground level. The other thing the Franklin system includes is a generator hookup option. So as many of you know who've been following for a while, one of the things I recommend if, you, if you're preparing to truly run off the grid um, or to, to survive in a prolonged grid down type of environment, having a generator backup to your solar and batteries just gives you a third level of protection. So inevitably, in the middle of winter, you're gonna hit a patch of bad weather where your solar panels are not gonna be able to keep up with battery recharging. You can just fire up the generator for a couple of hours, bring your batteries back full, and then go for running another couple of days just off of battery power. On that note, the Franklin system also offers a black start capability, meaning that let's say the battery has drained down to the point where the battery management system says turn the loads off. Battery does not have enough juice to power any more loads. It can still energize and present voltage to the microinverters or to the solar circuit to allow them to wake up the next day and allow them to recharge the batteries. And then also the Franklin system includes load control or actually what they call smart circuit control. And basically what the smart circuit control is, you can think of it as sort of a, a low power mode for your home. Let's say the battery is starting to draw down, let's say below 20 or 30%. At that point, you may wanna power down certain lower priority but heavy draw items in your house. Like for example, uh, the air conditioning or the electric vehicle charger. It's not that you can't use those things, but if you're in a grid down mode and the battery is starting to drain out, you don't necessarily wanna be draining your home battery just to charge a little extra into your vehicle battery. Or you may not wanna run your home battery just to run the central air conditioning when what you'd rather do is keep power on to your lights and your refrigerator and your computers overnight until the sun comes back out the next day and then those heavier loads can turn back on. So with the Franklin Smart Load Control, all that's included. And the nice thing about it is that the load control, and it's limited right now to two circuits, a, an 80 amp circuit and a 50 amp circuit, uh, but the load control for those two heavy load circuits is built right into the A gate. So in other words, it's not, it's not a separate piece of equipment like a separate load controller you need to install. It's all built right there um, on the A gate power gateway. So that is the Franklin Whole Home Battery Solution. All right, next, let's go ahead and take a look at the Enphase IQ battery system. Okay, now we're looking at the Enphase IQ battery system. Uh, and again, we're looking at the whole house configuration. So for this example, we're looking at a three battery configuration, three of the IQ battery 10Ts for a total of 30 kilowatt hours of storage. Now, the Enphase IQ battery system provides 11.5 kilowatts of continuous power with over 17 kilowatts of peak surge power. Uh, again, we're looking at a three battery configuration, so take the individual battery specs and multiply by, th multiply by three as we're stacking them. Uh, in terms of storage capacity, the Enphase whole home solution has 30.3 kilowatt hours of battery storage. Again, it is a three battery configuration, so you take the single battery spec multiply by three. Uh, in terms of warranty, Enphase does come standard with a 10-year battery warranty. However, Enphase now offers the option to extend your battery warranty for an extra five years. Uh, and as of this recording, the cost is about $1,000 
per 10 kilowatt hour battery unit. So for a whole home configuration like what we're discussing here, figure on an extra $3,000 if you want to extend that battery warranty out to 15 years. Uh, in terms of cost, Enphase is on the higher end of the spectrum. But then again, if you guys have been following this for a while, you know Enphase is not the cheap option. You know, Enphase has really never been the cheaper option, nor have they tried to be the cheaper option. I would say, if anything, Enphase tries to be the, 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 the trendsetter or the pace setter in terms of new technology. And I think the same thing is here with the Enphase IQ battery system. Uh, this, I would say, is probably the most advanced whole home battery backup system. Definitely not going to be the cheapest. And then in terms of X Factor, I'm going to give the Enphase system plus three additional X Factor points uh, for a lot of the same features as, as what the, um, the Franklin offers. Um, the fact that it's stackable, uh, the fact that you do have a generator hookup option. So again, it just gives you sort of that, that third level backup. Um, the fact that you do have load control. So Enphase does not have its own load controller that can be integrated as part of this solution. Um, and you can control many, many more circuits with the Enphase solution. If you, if you want to, uh, each load controller will control up to four circuits, but there's nothing to prevent you from having two or three load controllers. Uh, as part of the solution. It does make for a more complex install, but it also could give you, you know, more granular control and functionality over exactly which circuits you want powered uh, under what conditions if you're in a backup power mode. So this is the Enphase IQ battery system. So in summary, with the Franklin Whole Home, we're looking at 10 kilowatts continuous power with 20 kilowatts surge power for up to 10 seconds. Total storage capacity of 27.2 kilowatt hours for the Franklin, a 12 year warranty, one of the lowest cost in terms of whole house battery backup options with plus four X factor points for some of the unique features like the black start, the smart circuit control, and the generator hookup. In terms of the Enphase IQ system, we're looking at 11.5 kilowatt hours continuous power. Again, this is a three battery setup and over 17 kilowatts peak surge power. Slightly higher storage capacity at 30.3 kilowatt hours with the three battery setup. A 10 year standard warranty, which as we mentioned, can be extended to 15 years. Higher cost on the cost spectrum. If I were to compare these two options, and, and oftentimes we do quote these two options side by side, you're looking at about $2,000 to $2,500 more on a fully installed system using the Enphase equipment versus the comparable Franklin con uh, configuration. And then plus three X factor points for the Enphase additional capabilities. Remember folks, one of the big drawbacks with the Enphase is that it, as of this recording, it is not interoperable. Uh, and in fact, with the latest version of the Enphase battery, uh, it's not even backwards compatible with the previous generation of Enphase microinverters. So if you're doing a brand new system and you can install everything, IQ batteries, IQ8 microinverters, then you're going to be fine. But if let's say you have an older Enphase IQ6 microinverter system, or you've got Solar Edge or SMA, then an inverter agnostic solution like the Franklin is going to be something more like what you're going to want to take a look at. So if we total it up, I give the Franklin four out of five on power, three out of five on storage capacity, five out of five on warranty, four out of five for cost and plus four X factor points for a total of 20 points. In terms of the Enphase IQ system, I'm awarding three out of five for power, four out of five for storage capacity, as the three battery setup does have higher capacity for storage, four out of five on the warranty, a three out of five for cost, as the end phase is a little bit higher on the cost spectrum, and then plus three X factor points for some of those extra features like the load control and the gener uh, generator hookup for a total of 17 points. So folks, if I had to choose an overall winner, I have to say the Franklin Whole Home uh, is the winner of this uh, heads up comparison. However, like with most of these, these comparison videos, it really depends on your unique situation. Um, if you're starting with a brand new system and you can in afford to install all new state of the art Enphase components, then the Enphase solution might, might be a better choice for you. After all, you know, when it's installed properly, it does give you more granular load control. 
Uh, it does allow you to hook up a generator if you choose to do that as well. Um, and it would keep everything under a single end phase app. Um, however, if you have an existing solar power system uh, and you want to be able to add whole house battery backup to it, then it's very hard to recommend anything other than the Franklin whole home battery backup system. But as I'm recording this today, and right now we're in December of 2022, the most common configuration that we see here at Solar Surge and that we recommend is use the Enphase microinverters on the roof. Uh, Enphase, in my, question, in my opinion, there's no question they have the, the best microinverter technology and the best app for that side of things. So use your microinverters on the roof and then use the Franklin whole home battery backup system, the A-gate transfer switch as well as the A-power batteries to do the battery function and the generator hookup. So that's the most common configuration we use is actually, it's a combination of both Enphase and Franklin. Of course, both of these are great options though if you're looking for a whole house battery backup. Well folks, that about does it for today's comparison video. Um, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos that we post here on Solar Surge, be sure to give us a thumbs up uh, and also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, right now we're trying to get at least two videos out for you every week so that as new products, as new developments uh, are made available that you can stay up to date with us. Um, of course, if you're a homeowner and you're in the process of looking at battery backup options for your home, if you'd like to get a quote for one of these options or, or any of the other leading options, uh, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. It'll just take you to our website where you can schedule a short Zoom call with one of our experts here, and we'd be happy to chat through you know, what your exact needs and requirements are and then provide some numbers and some pricing for you. Well, folks, that does it for today's video. Again, I, I thank you for spending some time with Solar Surge. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.